It seems that space and time are not fundamental. That space and time themselves emerge from what? From quantum entanglement, from some kind of smaller parts or pieces that there's a deeper underlying theory from which space and time emerge. That is what we call the quantum theory of gravity. A quantum gravity sensor at MIT may have detected something that scientists can't explain. For a brief moment, just milliseconds, researchers recorded what some are calling a void event. Imagine tracking Earth's gravitational pull when suddenly the signal drops sharply. Not noise, not an error, a clear anomaly that fits no existing model. This isn't just another scientific curiosity. Quantum gravity sensors represent the cutting edge of physics. Devices so sensitive they can detect hidden tunnels, caverns, and geological features beneath our feet. But what if they found something more? What if, for just three milliseconds, these ultra-sensitive instruments glimpsed a momentary fluctuation in the fabric of space-time itself? MIT researchers have been developing revolutionary quantum devices to probe gravity's deepest secrets. Using laser-cooled torsional pendulums and intimate interferometry, they've pushed measurement precision to unprecedented levels. And now, something unexpected may have appeared in their data, something that, if confirmed, could force us to rethink our understanding of gravity itself. What did the sensor see? Let me show you what this quantum gravity sensor actually recorded. Picture a standard gravity reading, a smooth, consistent wave pattern tracking Earth's gravitational pull. Everything is normal. Then suddenly, the signal plummets. For three milliseconds, the gravity reading drops to near zero. It's as if a hole opened up in the fabric of reality itself, before snapping back to normal, just as quickly as it appeared. Now, let me put this in plain English. These sensors are so sensitive they can detect the weight of a single person underground. But this time, the reading wasn't a tunnel or a cavern. It was something that simply wasn't there. The instruments being developed at MIT use ultra-cold atoms in free fall to measure gravity with astonishing precision. When atoms encounter different gravitational pulls, they create interference patterns, like ripples in a pond. But during this anomalous reading, those patterns showed something unprecedented. No geological survey explains it. No satellite data accounts for it. No known underground structure matches the profile. The readings suggest a momentary absence of gravitational influence, a void, where there shouldn't be one. Scientists have detected underground tunnels with these sensors before. In 2022, researchers at the University of Birmingham successfully mapped hidden caverns using similar technology. But those readings match their models perfectly. This one doesn't fit anything we know. The data shows a clean dropout. Not gradual like you'd see with a cave or tunnel, but sharp and sudden as if gravity itself briefly flickered. So, what could possibly explain this gravitational anomaly? Scientists are examining three main possibilities. First, we might be looking at an uncharted geophysical void. Perhaps a sudden underground collapse created a massive air pocket beneath the sensor. These events can happen when limestone dissolves or when old mines give way. The timing would explain the abrupt nature of the reading, a literal cave-in happening in real time. But there's a problem with this theory. Cave-ins don't create perfect vacuums. They leave debris, dust, and material that still exerts gravitational pull. This signal showed something much more dramatic. The second theory takes us into more exotic territory, a dark matter pocket. Dark matter makes up roughly 27% of our universe, but remains invisible to direct detection. Some cosmological models suggest dark matter might cluster in unexpected ways, potentially creating localized distortions and gravitational fields. Could the sensor have detected a momentary interaction with this mysterious substance? A bubble or pocket of dark matter passing through our ordinary space? The third and most radical theory involves quantum vacuum instability. At the quantum level, empty space isn't truly empty. It's filled with virtual particles popping in and out of existence. Some physicists speculate that, under certain conditions, these quantum fluctuations could create momentary bubbles where the fundamental forces behave differently, a brief, localized change in the quantum vacuum itself. But here's where it gets stranger. When they compared the signal to existing physics models, not one of them fit perfectly. Before I reveal what theories are now on the table, hit that subscribe button if you want to stay ahead of discoveries like this.
We bring you the breakthroughs that others overlook. Could this be the very first crack in Einstein's picture of gravity? For over a century, Einstein's general relativity has explained gravity as the curvature of space-time. But quantum mechanics, which governs the subatomic world, has never fully reconciled with Einstein's vision. This anomaly isn't just random noise. MIT's instruments represent the pinnacle of measurement precision, designed specifically to probe the quantum nature of gravity. If confirmed, this void event could represent the first experimental evidence that gravity behaves differently at quantum scales than our current models predict. To see why this matters, let's step back into how these sensors actually work. The technology behind the mystery. To understand why this discovery matters, you need to know how these quantum gravity sensors actually work. The technology behind them is mind-blowing. Scientists cool atoms to temperatures just above absolute zero, colder than the emptiest parts of space. These ultra-cold atom clouds are dropped in free fall inside vacuum chambers. As they fall, laser beams split and recombine them in a process called atom interferometry. Think of it like thousands of tiny clocks falling at the same time. If gravity wobbles or changes strength, these atomic clocks drift out of sync. And that's how the sensor sees the invisible. At MIT, researchers led by Dongchel Shin have been using laser-cooled torsional pendulums, centimeter-scale objects cooled to the quantum realm, pushing these measurements to unprecedented precision. These devices can detect changes in gravitational pull smaller than one part in a billion. That's sensitive enough to feel the gravity from a person standing several meters away. I know what you're thinking. Couldn't this just be a glitch? And yes, quantum sensors are fragile, but that fragility is also what gives them their superhuman ability to detect the faintest signals. The Birmingham team that used similar technology to map underground tunnels had to place their equipment in special tents, shielded from vibrations and temperature changes. That's why scientists are approaching this anomaly with such caution and such excitement. If it wasn't a glitch, then we may have just recorded the first laboratory scale sign of new physics. Einstein's general relativity brilliantly explains gravity at the scale of planets and stars, but it breaks down at quantum scales where the rules change dramatically. For decades, physicists have searched for the bridge between these two worlds, the elusive theory of quantum gravity. This void event could be the first experimental evidence showing where our current models are incomplete. It might be the missing puzzle piece that helps unite Einstein's space-time with the quantum realm. And this is exactly why the scientific community is paying attention. Expert reactions and theoretical stakes. If this anomaly is confirmed, how would leading physicists interpret it? Let's consider what experts in quantum gravity might say. Theoretical physicist Maichi Okaku has spent decades searching for a unified field theory. If presented with this data, he might suggest, this could represent the first laboratory-scale crack in Einstein's picture of space-time. We've been searching for places where general relativity breaks down. Carlo Rovelli, a pioneer of loop quantum gravity theory, would view this through a different lens. His work proposes that space-time itself has a granular structure at the tiniest scales. He might theorize, what appears as continuous space to us might actually be discrete at quantum scales. This void event could be our first glimpse of that granularity. Harvard's Alvi Loeb, known for investigating unexplained astronomical phenomena, would likely take a cosmic approach. If confirmed, this anomaly might indicate exotic matter interactions occurring right in our backyard. We shouldn't dismiss unconventional explanations too quickly. Notice how each perspective raises the stakes, either it's geology, dark matter, or the very structure of space-time itself. These interpretations connect to major unresolved questions in physics. Is gravity truly quantum? Is space-time smooth or discrete? Could dark matter interact with our world in measurable ways? What makes this reading so compelling is its clarity. The signal doesn't show noise or gradual changes. It displays a sharp, momentary absence, almost like space-time itself briefly glitched. And remember, no existing model perfectly fits what this MIT sensor may have recorded. If verified, we'd need new physics to explain it. This wouldn't just be another particle discovery. 
It would challenge our fundamental understanding of reality itself. But here's the twist. Governments are watching these developments closely, and for good reason. Quantum gravity sensors aren't just academic curiosities. They're strategic technologies with profound implications for national security. DARPA and other defense agencies have invested millions in quantum sensing technology. These devices can detect underground structures, bunkers, and tunnels that remain invisible to conventional methods. A breakthrough in quantum gravity detection could revolutionize everything from mineral exploration to military surveillance. If MIT's anomaly represents new physics, the nation that masters it first gains an incalculable advantage. Geopolitical and Security The strategic implications of quantum gravity sensors extend far beyond pure science. Defense agencies worldwide have been racing to develop this technology for years. DARPA, the Pentagon's advanced research arm, has funded multiple quantum sensing programs. Why? Because these devices can detect what nothing else can. Imagine being able to locate deeply buried bunkers from a distance, or mapping underground tunnel networks without drilling, or tracking submarines beneath the ocean surface by measuring their gravitational signature. Quantum gravity sensors don't rely on radio waves, magnetic fields, or heat signatures, all of which can be blocked or shielded. They detect mass itself, which is virtually impossible to hide. The University of Birmingham's successful field test in 2022 proved these sensors work outside the lab. They mapped hidden tunnels through solid rock with unprecedented precision. Now, scale that capability up. A nation with advanced quantum gravity detection could find hidden missile silos, locate underground command centers, or track submarine movements without being detected. That's why both NASA and military agencies are pursuing this technology so aggressively. NASA's quantum gravity gradiometer pathfinder isn't just for mapping water reservoirs. It demonstrates capabilities with profound security implications. So, Imagine the response if a quantum gravity sensor detected something completely unexpected, a void event that fits no known model. Was this just a physics puzzle or something strategic enough to draw classified interest? If the anomaly occurred near sensitive infrastructure or military facilities, you can bet security agencies would take notice immediately. What appears as a scientific curiosity to the public might represent something entirely different behind closed doors. History shows us that when scientists encounter unexplained anomalies, the outcome falls into two categories. Either they fade away as measurement errors, or they force us to rewrite our understanding of the universe. Consider the Pioneer Anomaly. In the 1980s, NASA's Pioneer spacecraft began slowing down more than they should have, defying the laws of physics as we understood them. For decades, this unexplained deceleration baffled scientists. Some propose new physics or modifications to gravity itself. Eventually, after years of investigation, researchers discovered the culprit, heat radiating asymmetrically from the spacecraft. Or take the faster-than-light neutrinos announcement in 2011. CERN physicists shocked the world when they reported particles traveling faster than light, violating Einstein's special relativity. The scientific community was stunned. Months later, the explanation emerged a loose fiber optic cable, and a faulty clock. The laws of physics remained intact, but not all anomalies disappear so easily. The Tunguska event of 1908, when something flattened 80 million trees across 830 square miles of Siberia, still lacks a complete explanation over a century later. Was it an asteroid? A comet fragment? Something else entirely? The debate continues because the evidence doesn't perfectly fit any single model. These historical examples teach us something crucial about MIT's potential void event. Scientific anomalies demand skepticism, but they also merit investigation. Sometimes they lead nowhere. Sometimes they change everything. Remember that Einstein's theories emerge from anomalies in Newtonian physics. Quantum mechanics was born from observations that classical physics couldn't explain. The greatest scientific revolutions often begin with a single unexplained data point that doesn't fit. So, where does this leave us with MIT's potential void event? Let's consider all possibilities. It could be geological, 
a previously unknown underground structure that created an unusual gravity signature. Science often finds mundane explanations for initially puzzling phenomena. It could represent dark matter, the invisible substance that makes up 27% of our universe might interact with our world in ways we're just beginning to detect. Or it could be something far more profound, actual evidence of quantum gravity, the elusive connection between Einstein's space-time and the quantum world. The most scientifically rigorous position is caution. More measurements, more tests, and more analysis are needed before making extraordinary claims. What makes this potential discovery so compelling is how it bridges theoretical physics with practical technology. The same quantum sensors being refined at MIT and other institutions will soon map our world in unprecedented detail. So, what does this mean for you and me? If sensors can see holes in space-time, imagine what else they could uncover. Hidden resources, unseen structures, maybe even entirely new laws of physics. These technologies aren't just laboratory curiosities. They're the next generation of tools that will map our planet's interior, find water and drought-stricken regions, and potentially reveal aspects of reality we've never been able to measure before. The University of Birmingham's successful detection of underground tunnels was just the beginning. We stand at the threshold of a new era in sensing technology. This discovery isn't just fascinating, it's unsettling, because for a moment, gravity, the force that anchors our universe simply wasn't there. What other fundamental aspects of reality might not be as constant as we believe? MIT's potential void event remains unexplained, but it has sparked questions that could lead to the next breakthrough in understanding our universe. Throughout history, unexplained anomalies have either disappeared under scrutiny or opened doors to revolutionary discoveries. Quantum gravity sensors continue to advance becoming more precise and more portable with each iteration. NASA's upcoming satellite mission will map Earth's gravity field with unprecedented detail. Whether this particular anomaly proves groundbreaking or not, the technology behind it certainly will be. We're entering an era where the invisible becomes visible, where what lies beneath our feet can be mapped without digging, and where the fundamental forces of nature reveal their secrets. The quest to understand gravity from Newton's apple to Einstein's curved space-time to today's quantum sensors, continues to push the boundaries of human knowledge. If you found this as mind-bending as we did, hit subscribe. Our next video dives into another anomaly scientists can't explain. And trust me, you won't want to miss it. The universe is stranger than we imagine, and with tools like quantum gravity sensors, we're finally beginning to see just how strange it really is.